Hello and welcome to all of you from the RBS Business Research Academy. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can check the homeostasis in the species. It's very important assumptions uh, of the multiple regulation. Dear friends, whenever you want to apply the ordinary least square multiple regulation on your data, then certain assumptions are there. These are, uh, these are called six assumptions are there and it is very important to meet all these assumptions. Even if you are not meeting these assumptions, even though this is a job of the species to provide the results, but these results, results would be uh, invalid because certain assumptions have not been made. Uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss uh, first, uh, theoretically, I will provide you some concept of the homocytosity and then practically we will check it into the species software. My always my all videos are short videos because I believe in the learning species in small doses. Now earlier my videos are available on different topics on my YouTube channel: missing data, outlier, normality, checking linearity of your data, and the multiponality. In this video, as you know, I'm discussing about the homocytosity of data. Now, what is the homeostasticity? Homeostasticity is for the assumption that the dependent variable, now here we talk only about the dependent variable, exhibit the similar amount of variance. It shows similar amount of variance across the range of your independent values. Alternative, we can also call that the homogeneous across the level of predictive values, also known as a homeostasticity. How to understand that the similar amount of variance after this one, I will show you some of the graphs through which you can understand that uh, what do you mean by the amount of the variance, like especially the similar amount of variance, what do you mean by this one? How to check the homogeneity, homogeneity of the data through the escape plot? Although different other tools are also available, but this is the most powerful tool and most useful tool. Uh, that's why I'm going to apply uh, this scattered plot to know the, either the data is a homostatic data or the heterostatic data. Now, uh, these are the four graphs are there. These two graphs are the non-constant variance and these two graphs are the constant variance, like the similar amount of variance. Now, similar amount of the variance means this one down here. You see that the uh, uh, this is the regression line in between the, these are the data points, these black dots, these are data points, they are falling in a certain range. Now this range is not going to be widening when you are going upward. The same you see that the, the range is uh, almost the same. Now data points, the difference between this one and the data is somewhat uh, same. So now if this is the pattern of your scattered plot, it means your data is a homogeneous data, even though if this is the look like the shape of your, uh, your data, your scattered graph of your data, again, we can say it's the homogeneous data. On the contrary, this is, and these two are other, these are non-constant. Non-constant means that as you are going up, the, the values, they are going somewhat away from this line. So now this is the inconstant or non-constant variance. Now, uh, if you remember the words of funnel, so now if you put the funnel over here, then at the end of it, from this extreme, you see from this uh, part, this is the very narrow, as you are going upward, then the, 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 this the, is going to take a shape of the funnel. So that means that this mouth is very open and here it's very uh, narrow. So now if this is the shape of your data, it is a, it means your data is a non-constant variance or it's the heterogeneous data. Like if we say that if the funnel like approach, uh, like the funnel like approach is there in your uh, scattered plus graph, it means your data is a uh, heterosynthetic data. If this is the shape of your data graph of your data, it's called the homocytosis data. Now, from here again, you can understand uh, that this is the 
heterostatic uh, type of the data because here you are actually finding, easy you are finding a one type of the funnel. Either it from this end, from this part, now it's a very narrow as you are going uh, ahead. Now these are going to be, there is a amount of this data is going to be uh, open. Now the data points are much more spread from each other. But now here, now, uh, but here you are saying that variance of the data is equal across your data line. If you insert, uh, if you insert a type of the, uh, like the, your multiple regression line here, over here, a regression line over is taken from this, uh, from upper or lower of this line, you find that almost the same type of the variance is there. That's why this is the homogeneous uh, data and this is a heterogeneous data. Anything you know, for your understanding, now it's clear that from if you draw a one line from here and you draw from line, you see that the homogeneity is in your data. The variance is equal from the both sides. But on the contrary, in this one, the homogeneous of homogeneous is not, uh, means the, the variance is not constant. As you are going up, as you are going in uh, advanced data, data point, they are going away from each other. So like, uh, the, the mouth of this graph is going to be open like a funnel approach. Now, uh, we are taking, uh, the Mr. Homo study, and they, I'm going to enter now into the uh, practical part of this video, and I will use this data file to check the homostasticity in the species. The link of the same data is available at the end of this video. You can download it, and you can you, uh, apply. You can use this data for practical purpose. You can do the homostasticity run the uh, graph by yourself, dear friends. I always refer these books when report making any video, especially on the species, because these, these books are wonderful. And I also uh, personally suggest you to go through all these uh, books. If you are a beginner, this book is good for you. If you are in the middle one, somewhat you know, and further you want to know a species by the main journal is a wonderful book. But if you want to enter into the advanced level of the species, then this book is a wonderful the discovering statistics using edge species by the end field. Dear friends, uh, now I'm I've entered into the practical part of this video. So here we have certain variables. Now QP is a quality of physical environment. It is our dependent variable and these are our independent variable. And this is end of the data set. In this one, why is our Dependent variable x1 and x2 are our independent variable. Let's start to understand that either the, these data are either homostatic data or the heterostatic data. For this purpose, I will apply uh, skip to plot graph on this one. For this purpose, uh, we should go into the analyze and then regression in the regulation in the linear regulation. And then uh, please reset it. Uh, the, and the already what are the commands you have given here? These will be vanished. So reset it once, and then find out your uh, dependent variable. Select it and insert here. And then the food quality is my inner independent variable. And then here do nothing. Just go in, into the plot. And in the plot, select dependent variable at the y and the z residual is at the x, x. So now here, after inserting these variables at their proper place, do not do anything, just press button OK, and then again, continue, and then now OK. Results which have received, which we have received. So we are not interested in any results, model summary, ANOVA, coefficient, but only we are interested in our scattered plot. In the scattered plot, the dependent variable is QPE, and now here we want to check that this, this data is either heterostatic data or the homostatic data. For this purpose, what we should do, that even in our in the first of our inspection, we see that there is no any funnel-like uh, pattern in our data. All the data points are almost uh, within the uh, regression line. If we insert the regression line, double click it. Once if you insert data, now this is our line. Okay, in this line, you can insert a fitted line. Just select it, okay. 
and they remove this label and apply. Well, if you apply now from this one line, you can see that uh, somewhat, uh, I think there's no any uh, like the funnel like approach in your data. From this point of view, it is clear that this data is a homogeneous data. Alternatively, you can also select copy it, uh, copy it and go into the Word, in your Word document and open this document there. Okay, now press this here. Once you have pressed this one, now from here it is easy to understand. Now here you can insert the two lines, uh, go into the insert button and go into the shapes. In the shape then find out this type of the line here. And then insert this line from this point to this point here. And then uh, get the another same line from here. Okay, and insert uh, another line from here. You see that is in from both line, somewhat the pattern is clear. So there's no any type of the uh, inconstant uh, variance in your data. So now these two line, blue lines are showing that the, that this graph is uh, is a homogeneous graph. Okay, now after doing this one, we are applying another uh, our independent variable. Now this time we are. Uh, sending back this food quality and we are inserting the service quality in our independent variable list. Do not do anything, just repeat the same one. Okay, these are in their proper position. Continue. Okay. Okay, different. After pressing the OK button, we have received this type of escape plan. Now it is clear from its shape that uh, it's completely a uh, perfectly a uh, homogeneous graph or homogeneous data. So there's no only need to change make any changes in this one. Already because it's perfectly a uh, homogeneous data. Now from this point of view that uh, our this assumption has properly been made by this. Okay, again now, uh, again we are uh, doing the same one, but now this time we are using entirely different data set. Now what we do, you should uh, select, uh, press this button, reset, and then insert the Y into the different variable and X, but, uh, X2 in the independent variable. And then go into the plots, uh, provide the proper space to different variable and insert into the Y and the uh, uh, residual z residual into the x continue okay now uh, when you insert this one here now this type of the graph is available for us now if you insert a line it means the, uh, you can find out that the, the inconstant variance is available here that means that these data points are somewhat away from its line regression line so now here if you insert the line here Now see, now some inconsistency is there. If you insert the two lines from here, from one line from here, from one line here, then it is easily, uh, you can find out that the inconsistency is available in your data. It means a variance is inconsistent. If this is type of the graph you are getting of your data, that means your data is a heterogeneous data. Then again, we are doing the same work with another data set. Uh, like our dependent variable is saying, this time we are changing our independent variable. Instead of inserting x2, we are inserting x1. And I think you do not make any change in this one, just press OK. Now, if once if you press the OK, you will get this double chart. Then again, from this is clear, this, this data is, is a somewhat, it's um, a it heterogeneous data because in equal variance is available in our data. So from this type of the practice, we have come to know that uh, if our uh, data is dear friends, from this uh, practice, we have come to know that uh, if our data is this shape is like a funnel approach, like the like a funnel. Now it is a heterogeneous data because the consistent, uh, the variance of this data is inconsistent. But if the, the, if the, if the, the variance of the data is not a, a funny like approach, but on the both side is going to be the equal variance, this is called the homogeneous data. So now this assumption always demand from you that your data should be homogeneous 
not heterogeneous. So from this practice, we have come to know that the, uh, from this one, this, this data set, this data set is homogeneous and this data is a heterogeneous. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please share this video with your friends. Please subscribe my channel. Uh, it's the maximum benefit can go to the different people. Thank you uh, very much for watching this video.